Hello, I'm Henry. I will provide what we know so far. So, hope you helpful, enjoy. The 2022 BMW X3 SUV combines luxury and utility with sports vehicles from the past to create a vehicle that is both luxurious and practical. The Bellissimo is a good-looking little SUV, and its balanced structure and well-tuned steering make it a surprisingly eager partner on a twisty road. Both of its turbocharged powertrains a four- or six-cylinder engine deliver plenty of power, making it an appealing choice. If the X3's cabin is modest in its appearance, it is nonetheless elegant and comfortable. It's a pleasant place to spend time, even if other competitors such as the Mercedes-Benz GLC Class and Volvo XC60 have better style. The X3 is outfitted with a number of tech features, such as two digital dashboard displays and a variety of driver assistance systems from BMW. Overall, the X3 is well-balanced, but it's the agile handling and powerful turbo engines that make it one of our favorites. The X3 gets a new grille, headlamps and tail lamps, revised front and rear bumpers, new wheel designs, and modified exhaust tips for 2022. The basic X3 is now available with an M Sport package, which gives it a racier M40i look. When it comes to the M40i, 2022 sees the introduction of a 48-volt hybrid system, although horsepower stays at 382 HP. The xDrive 30e plug-in hybrid has been discontinued. The center console has been modified, and secondary controls have been relocated. The large touchscreen cluster is now standard on all 2019 BMW 3 Series models, complete with a digital gauge display and a 10.3-inch information screen. For both the 10.3-inch infotainment display and the matching digital gauge display, BMW now offers 12.3-inch upgrades. Regardless of the actual power output, all BMW engines radiate a similar powerful and elegant vibe. The M40i's 382 HP six-cylinder drives it to 60 miles per hour in 4.4 seconds, but we recommend buyers stick with the standard 248 HP four-cylinder, which is more than enough powerful. The excellent eight-speed automatic works in tandem with the powerful turbo four-cylinder to make quick passes in traffic and save fuel on the highway. The rear wheels are only driven by the entry-level X3 S-Drive 30i. Those in snowy areas should consider upgrading to the all-wheel drive X-Drive 30i model, but buyers in sunny states won't have to worry about that. The rear-wheel drive S-Drive 30i and all-wheel drive X-Drive 30i with a turbocharged 2.0-liter four-cylinder engine offer plenty of power to negotiate almost any traffic scenario, but aren't especially thrilling. The X-Drive 30i needed 6.2 seconds to reach 60 miles per hour at our test facility, we haven't timed an S-Drive 30i variant yet. The Audi Q5 is also quicker in our testing, with the Porsche considerably so. The X3 M40i is a better choice for performance-oriented drivers. The Porsche Macan Turbo's 3.0-liter turbocharged six-cylinder engine is a beast with almost brutish power outstripping even the most powerful version of the Macon Turbo and the Mercedes-AMG GLC 43 by 4.4 seconds to 60 miles per hour. The new X3 is a fantastic vehicle, and we expect it to do well. It's still more competent than some of BMW's current sedans, it has a great ride and can arc around bends better than expected, although it doesn't quite deliver Macon levels of agility. The ride is well-balanced and has just enough stiffness for an energizing feel without causing a harsh ride on bumpy road surfaces. The adaptive suspension upgrade was available on our test car, which we encourage you to choose. The X-Drive 30i comes standard with BMW's optional comfort, sport, and eco pro driving modes. The adaptive M suspension lowers the chassis 0.4 inch on the M40i.
The X3's EPA ratings are modest compared to those of other competitors. However, both of our test vehicles, an X-Drive 30i and an M40i exceeded their energy consumption predictions in our real-world performance. The higher-powered M40i 29mpg came in surprisingly close to the four-cylinder X-Drive 30i 31mpg, meaning there's little highway fuel economy penalty for all that extra power. The X3's attractive interior is already well-equipped before you check a single option box, 10-way power adjustable front seats, which include adjustable side bolsters, make it simple to select a comfy posture. The rear seat passengers are treated to reclining seatbacks, and the overall comfort on all seats is good enough for extended journeys. The X3's interior is well-designed and put together nicely, with appropriate materials and tight panel gaps. Despite being made of plastic, the glossy wood grain trim on our test vehicle looked and felt genuine, the nickel finish metal trim adds a touch of luxury to the interior. In our carry-on suitcase test, the X3 ranks about average among comparable vehicles. With the rear seats folded, seven carry-ons may fit behind the second row one for each person and two for extras and 20 can fit in total with both rows deployed. The Cadillac XT5, on the other hand, is the cargo hauling champion in this category, heavy trucks should consider that one.